Hi there, I'm Dale Mathis, coming to you from my studio in Sun City, Arizona. And today I'm doing accordion lesson number three, play by ear, and you may recognize the tune as Marianne. All day, all night, Marianne. Okay, so you do not need sheet music. You do not need to read sheet music to play this tune because I'm going to walk you through it. However, if you go to my website, dalemathisaccordion.com, you will find the, web, uh, the uh, sheet music that you can print out if you have some basic uh, knowledge of reading sheet music. And even if you don't, you may still want to use this as a guide to kind of make sense of uh, what this is all about. So I've got the first of these uh, lessons also on that website, uh, dalemathisaccordion.com. And it's in the upper right hand corner if you're looking at a um, desktop computer. And it's just, uh, the heading is called Play by Ear. Okay, and these lessons are free for anyone. So you can go to my website and look at the uh, previous ones. And uh, this one will be on the website also. And the download the PDF for the piece of sheet music. If you want to follow along, you can also do that. All right, so let's get right to it. So in the first couple of uh, lessons, um, play by ear lessons, we've talked about finding, putting your thumb on the C key. So if you look, there's two black keys and then three black keys. Well, the C key is that one right there. And so in the previous lessons, we've already gone through uh, playing songs with those five keys. Plus, we also had the previous song where you played, moved your thumb up one note and played the B key. And then in your left hand, we've all, there's nothing new here either. You've got the C bass and C chord. That's the one with the indent in it. And use your third finger to play that. And use your second finger to play the chord note behind it. And oh, I'll just give you a heads up about the accordion that I'm playing. This is a Dale Mathis edition of the Roland FR1X. It's a little 14 pound accordion and it can do orchestra sounds. So that's why you're hearing that tuba sound and the drum sounds. So you could actually make it sound like this. Okay. So that's the C bass and chord, and then right above it, you're going to find the G bass and chord. And you make that rhythm by playing with your third finger and then your second finger. And move back down to the one with the indent on it, the C bass and chord. Okay, so that's everything you have to do in the left hand. So now let's go over the right hand. So we're going to get that thumb on the C. And if you printed out that sheet music, you may find it helpful because in the sheet music, I wrote in the finger numbers. You got five fingers, and so you got one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Okay, so the right hand to this tune starts with the third finger. And then fifth finger, thumb, third finger, and then third finger again, second finger, fourth finger. And what's different that you have not had in the first couple of lessons is that you hold that F key or your fourth finger for a very long time. It actually gets held for six beats. So in the left hand, you're playing this. And so when you put it together, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that left hand is going. There's six beats there and you put the whole thing together. It's OK. 
Okay, so the next part of the tune, uh, and again, if you've got the sheet music, you'll see it's on the second line. Use your second finger, fourth finger, and now you stretch up that thumb and play the B key, and then second finger on the D key, and then repeat the D, and then you play the E, and you hold that for six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the third line of the tune sounds like this. Third finger, fifth finger, second, or thumb rather. Three, four, and then third finger, second finger, fourth finger. And this is another one of those notes where you hold it a long time. Six beats. And then second finger, fourth, reach up to that B, which is closer to your thumb, to your chin rather. Second finger on D, D, C, C, and the song ends by holding for again six beats. So if I play the whole thing, this is what it sounds like. suggest that you do is just try playing one part like the right hand or the left hand along with me and just trying doing one part at a time so just try doing the bass and chord while I'm playing the melody and the whole song or uh, just do the right hand while I'm doing this part so okay I'm gonna do it again and this time I'm gonna count it out for you and yeah, let's turn this down a little bit. So it's one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to do it another time. This time I'm going to let you know when to play the C bass or the G bass. So it starts out with the C. Now you have to change to G now. Now change to C. So when you hold those long notes, and I'm just going to show you here in the sheet music what it looks like, is they've got this curved line and what you're doing, uh, this is actually a half note and this is a whole note. Half notes have the stems on them with the open circle and whole notes are the circle with no stem on it. So that one's supposed to get two beats and that one's supposed to get four beats and these dots down here in this lower staff, that's the bass note, the chord note, the bass note, the chord note, the bass button, the chord button. So you can see we're 
if you add the two beats for this and the four beats for this, that total of six, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, how about that for a cool theory lesson? And again, uh, you don't have to read music, but if you do print it out, uh, it'll just give you some helpful uh, understanding of how to fit all these parts together. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I hope that you can figure this tune out just by doing this for ear by ear playing. And I uh, hope you're enjoying playing your accordion. So thanks again, and we'll see you later.